My name's Teresa, and this is about creating performance using visual metrics to change the future. In our work, there are certain elements that define success. These key performance indicators are the metrics that help us to understand how we're performing. In operations, these are often safety, production, and cost. Let's look at safety first. Keeping track of incidents that have happened in the past can give us feedback on where we are now. Usually, we look at how these incidents are related in time. For instance, the number of incidents based on hours worked or based on overall time in operation. By then looking at the incidents over time, we can start to see patterns. We can also gather information about what might happen in the future. Tracking safety observations or gathering audit scores might indicate where we have addressed a system issue or where an incident is more likely to occur next. Our hindsight metrics are usually applied in the way that what happened in the past will occur again in the future. And the foresight metrics might indicate that we're not likely to see exactly the same pattern as in the past. Combined, they can give us a good idea of what might happen next. But what if we don't want that future? Production metrics are often a straightforward count of how much was made per day. Our foresight metrics might include new sources of production, like well drilling plans, or maybe commercial agreements that route new supplies to us, or maintenance plans that approve availability. The information on current production rates overlaid with the plans for future production can give us a pretty good idea of what the future might hold. But what if that plan doesn't deliver what we need? Cost is a big focus for any business, and it's usually a case where it costs more to produce more. A ratioed metric like unit operating cost can help us better understand the value of each barrel we produce more appropriately than straight cost. Straight cost can be misleading because it can be a good thing if your costs go up because you're making and selling so much more product. It can also help you compare your business costs to others who make a similar product. Foresight metrics for cost look at what your future work plans are, including how much maintenance you'll be doing, any major projects, and the knowledge of how raw material cost might change. Combining our known costs and adding the knowledge of where our costs might be different based on plans for the future are a good way to make a budget prediction or to update our latest estimate for the year. But what if it's still too expensive? Here's where we can get smarter than just looking at and measuring what we already know about the past and what we expect for the future and use our metrics to create change. Let's start by identifying which area needs our focus first. Once we've picked one, we need to set a goal. What do we want our future to look like? Then we can look at the elements, both from past performance and for what we know to be coming towards us to show what underpins our current and anticipated performance. Now we need to dive deeper. What then underpins each of these elements? We are looking for the opportunities, the areas where the current metric isn't doing as well as it could or should. In this case, we have lower production on Wednesday. And Wednesday happens to be the day when shift handover happens, and it's when the deliveries arrive for parts to go into stores, and it's when we do routine service on the pumps. Let's focus on the deliveries, but it would be worth doing this for any element that offers an opportunity to improve. To drive that improvement, we need to create a new metric for this sub-element of the bigger production metric. To build our new deliveries metric, we need to define from what, so where are we now, to what, where do we want to go, by when, and with who, to make sure we're clear on the expectation of the pace and of this change. Then this information, this concrete way of improving Wednesday's production, needs to be visible and kept up to date where the work is happening. In this case, it needs to be in the stores area and is updated by the guy who books in the deliveries. And he needs to get visited by the people who can help and his leaders who are looking at the metric next up on the chain to see how it's going. If the deliveries improvement is working and if that performance is improving, then it should help improve the bigger picture on production. Improvement areas that are visible at the right place to take action and are clear on what needs to change can move us from simply measuring performance to creating it. 